Hello guys, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, Epsom 2030 1080p LCD projector. Um, this will be a short review. Uh, let's watch a Battlefield 4 60fps 1080p video first uh, to check out the quality. I'm recording this from an angle. Uh, I've got a 100 inch screen there. This is a small room, so right now I can only get 100 inch and I'm projecting on a beige wall. Uh, there's no screen. As you can see, the colors are beautiful. The brightness is also beautiful. Uh, the projector has a 2000 lumens brightness, both white and color. Uh, and it has 2000 lumens. Uh, it lasts for 6,000 hours if you use it on economy mode and 3,000 roughly 3,000 hours if you use it in bright mode. Right now you're looking at, at it at, at uh, economy mode. And the refresh rate is really good, so you can actually game on it. And you, the beach color wall doesn't, or the cream color wall doesn't affect the quality at all. I mean, you can enhance it using a, a, a good gain screen, but I'd like to move my projector from my living room to my to my gaming room. And in my living room, I get roughly around 130 inches to 140 inches screen from 11 and a half to 12 inches from the wall. Um, and I use my PS3 sometimes and my PC to game. Here is one more trailer for Uncharted 4 on YouTube. You know, the compressed video. The video you watched before was a, a downloaded 600 MB video directly from Battlefield 4. So this video quality should be a little different than before. And this is also a 60 FPS video. So you can see how the darks, uh, the blacks are. I'm not so happy with the blacks because it's only 15,000 is to one contrast ratio, but the colors look really beautiful. Uh, and my current recording device is Galaxy S4 camera. So you can assess the quality from that. And the room is uh, not completely dark. As you can see on the left side corner, my window is closed, but there is light seeping in. The colors are really beautiful, but when it gets dark, you can see uh, light bleed slightly from the sides. But overall, it looks really good. The bulb on this projector is hundred dollars for six thousand hours of use. If you are using it in uh, in economy mode, but if you are using it in uh, normal mode it will only last up to 3000 hours so roughly if you use um, 10 hours or 20 hours a week uh, you'll get more than four to five ten years depending on how you use it um, 
same battlefield for video from before but uh, this time the room is fully lit i have a bright light right behind me so you can see the quality you can still see uh, the image really vivid and bright even though it's just 2000 lumens you can see all the colors still really bright so it can be used in a in a brightly lit room so you guys can assess the quality right now and the light I'm using is really bright uh, you may notice it but I'll show you the difference see that's turned off and the light I'm using is a three stage light so if I started at a little see this is the highest brightness on the light and you can see the difference in the image quality and also light seeping from the window on the left uh, in this screen you can see how how clear the text is this is the website for IGN.com and you can read all the text really clearly If I go a little closer, you'll see very few pixels on it. Right now you're looking at Witcher 2 at 1080p. Uh, until now all the videos and uh, everything you have seen uh, has been in uh, economy mode. Now I'll show you the difference between this and the and the normal mode. Uh, before that, let me let me uh, I'll I'll take the camera closer to the projector so you can hear how it how it feels in the economy mode. that was the sound and then when I change it to normal mode that's the difference but the brightness goes up quite a lot so right now you're looking at the Witcher All the colors look beautiful. But according to some people's testing, uh, if you are in the normal mode, uh, the, the refresh rate is really high. But if you want the refresh rate to be 35 milliseconds, you have to change it to, to, to fast mode instead of fine mode. All the videos you have seen in the, are in the fine mode. Now it's a fast mode. It's a little bit, a little bit pixelated and and uh, the colors are slightly uh, off but it's still playable but right now it is 35 milliseconds according to some people on the on the forums um, and I think it's still playable the only drawback I see is for the contrast ratio and the replacement of bulb every two three years four years depending on how you how you would uh, um use the projector this is in the outside outside of the outside of the village so you can see how clear it is and this is in fine mode and uh, uh normal brightness so it's not in economy mode so now if i switch it to Uh, 
switch it to fine mode it was in the fast mode before now if i switch it to fine mode it it looks a lot more it it looks a lot more uh, brighter and the pixels are together and there is no blur and it it looks really gorgeous and if i switch from normal mode to economy mode the brightness is slightly reduced as you can see but it looks really good As far as the projector zoom is concerned, the, it it has a lot of zoom capability. This is the f uh, this is the leftmost setting on the zoom dial, and this is the rightmost setting on the zoom dial. So you see how small it, the image got, and I'm zooming it back in, and it's got a manual focus and a lid to close and open. Um, as far as all the other settings go, for the price, it's an amazing proje projector. Uh, but there are there are really good uh, competitors for this, uh, like LG PF 1500 that just came out from LG, which is an LED projector, and you can get 30,000 hours lamp life. It's priced at 999, but still, they both they both will value at the same amount if you use the projector in economy mode. The price for both of them will be same because you'll replace five six bulbs for 30,000 hours, and it comes up to the same price because it's only 100 dollars a bulb on this one. But the LG PF has a lot more features. Um, my next review will be on that, uh, the unboxing and then the review. So we can compare the videos from this and that. But the, 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 there's a lot of advantage in this one because this is an LCD projector. So all the artifacts from the DLP are not seen. So what you see on this camera uh, from other projectors, you would see a rainbow effect sometimes, but this one doesn't have it. So if you like my review, uh, if you want to see any other video, please comment and like my video. Thank you.